the biggest name in rap music. Make that the biggest names, plural. And they all belong to one surprisingly mellow guy. Mellow, that is, until it comes down to business. He is one of the most successful of all rappers. But what exactly are we supposed to call this guy? What's in a name? Why won't you be Sean Combs rather than P. Diddy? Who said we had to have one name? You know, I don't really just play by the rules. I create my own rules. So, um, P. Diddy is one of my names, but Sean Combs is also. So is Sean John. So is Puff Daddy. So is P. Puffy. Diddy. You know, but give Diddy. you a wide range of things to choose from. By whatever name, he is a force to be reckoned with. At 32, a very savvy businessman who, as president of Bad Boy Entertainment, personally oversees a multi-million dollar empire that reaches far beyond the world of music. What has caused you in the business the biggest problem? I don't have any problems. I don't, I don't really believe in problems. I eat problems. It's just That's just the way it is. Like, I don't see like problems as a reality. I just see the solution. What gets you loud? Depends on the situation, the atmosphere. What do you like in a business meeting? I'm loud in a business meeting. <laughs> as Fortune Magazine observed, this, quote, isn't just a badass rapper with a predilection for flashy white suits, goofy nicknames, and brushes with the law. He is also an entrepreneur and an extremely successful one at that. Try this on for size. His line of designer clothing, Sean John, raked in an astounding $250 million last year. I'm a chameleon. That's what Sean John kind of exemplifies, you know, freedom in men's fashion. I love Atlanta. This is Mr. Combs hopes to help kids learn the importance of dressing for success. And he was taking part in a fashion show at the Lenox Square Riches Store when I caught up with him recently. P. Diddy also owns restaurants that are flourishing in New York and Atlanta. Justin's, named after one of his sons, has become a favorite gathering place. It has become the, become the place to meet and greet. What keeps people coming back? Yeah, the food is good, but there's something else. I think it's the soul. There's stories behind, you know, fried chicken and macaroni and cheese and collard greens from the days of slavery and, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's our history. So a lot of people come to Justin's for some black history to get closer to the blackness, get closer to the flavor. And, um, you know, and so, so being that that's never going to go nowhere, I guess Justin's will be open for a long time. Officially, P. Diddy still lives in New York, but with Atlanta's emergence as the capital of rap and hip-hop, you are as likely to see him here as anywhere else. It's good for me to be, have Atlanta as my second home because I get the best of both worlds. The South is, is, is a little bit more soulful, to be honest, a little bit more giving, you know, um, a little bit more out there.